Okay, I just checked on room 1427 and her BPM hasn't gone down at all. You take her temperature? No, I can't because she's too fussy. Oh my god. Uh, just give her some sedatives, take her when she's asleep. Oh. Did you guys try um, putting the thermometer in her back end? Um. What do you mean? I was thinking maybe if we put thermometer up her butt, then we won't have to worry about squirming around. Did in there, the anus? Sorry, one sec. I'll be right there. The, you want? I'm okay. I've I've never thought about doing that. Is that a thing? Basically, the way I look at it is since we can't get a good reading on her and I'm the doctor and I know best, maybe we put it up her butt. What? I don't think it's that crazy to think that maybe if we took the thermometer and put it up her butt, we'd get a really good reading and maybe it wouldn't even hurt. Maybe it'd actually feel good. Maybe people have tested this. Sorry, have you tried it? I haven't or anybody else probably, but if they then did- Then why do you think it could be a good idea? Are you saying that? What? Sorry, have you tested it? I don't know, I'm open to ideas, different ideas, if you guys have any. Well, we were just saying that we might give her a sedative and then she might just be less fussy <sighs> and we could take it that way. The only thing about a sedative is then she's gonna be asleep and then she's gonna maybe have a bad dream and that's not fun. It might be better if we just go right up the keister and see maybe it's 98.6 and then the problem's gone. Because people might have tested this at their home labs or maybe even in the break room. I don't know. It's just something maybe people have tested. I mean, aren't like scientific theories more like we did rigorous? Sorry, robust. one sec. Hello? That's a, that's a scope. That's not a phone. Have you tried it? Have I tried what? What you're just talking about. Oh. I think you should listen to the doctor. Look, you're newer. He's been at this hospital for 25 years. I'm just asking, have you tried this before and you've seen that it works? The cafeteria food or what are you talking about? I'm talking about putting a, a temperature gauge in someone's butt. I might or might not ever done that. It's none of what? your business. Maybe it's better on people who can't talk or talk about it at all, like dogs. People isn't a dog. I'm just taking the pitches that have been done in the room. Basically, it seems- Why don't you just try it? Seems like general consensus is we should start doing this and it should be a doctor-wide thing. Everyone should be doing this now. We put thermometers and butts to get the reading and we just do this now. And we don't really talk about why we did it or whose idea it was, because I don't, maybe the person who thought of it doesn't want to take credit for it, but he wants it to be done. Uh, yeah, so I guess we'll just normalize this and start doing it to every patient that can't talk and we'll act like it's not weird. Glad you guys are both on board. I'll write your guys' names on, down as being people who helped found this, but I won't be on it because I don't actually want to be affiliated with this. We'll just go ahead and do it. I don't, I don't, my name, I don't want my name to be on there. Perfect. All right. I'm glad you agree. Perfect. Okay. We'll do it. What, well, I mean, whatever you think. I mean, you're the boss. Thanks. Is that what you... you I really got to take this. I got to take this. Uh, no, actually flip onto your knees and bend over in your most vulnerable position possible. Okay. 